Saints, Slaves, and Blacks was the first comprehensive study on Mormonism and Blacks as it involves slavery. First appeared in print in 1981. Uh, the LDS Church itself virtually ignored the volume. There were two major reasons why Brigham Young imposed the, the fateful decision to deny Blacks the priesthood. The first was an an increasing sense of Mormon whiteness or the idea that they were a chosen race directly a uh, part of the uh, of, uh, they were Ephraimites which uh, and they were a favored race that was the main reason and that had been something that actually evolved from Joseph Smith's time but it reached its peak during after Brigham Young assumed leadership following the death of Joseph Smith. That was the major primary reason. But what gave it a further uh, reinforcement was Brigham Young's decision to uh, legalize black slavery in Utah following the, mi the Mormon migration during the late 1840s and early 1850s, an act in relation to service which made Utah the only Western territory that legalized black slavery. As the church became more and more internationalized, uh, you saw more people of color, and so it was harder to uphold and defend the, uh, the white ethnic uh, consciousness that had been such a, a major part of uh, black uh, priesthood denial. And so the church has been willing to uh, confront the uh, troubled aspects of its racial past, of its racial heritage. Unlike polygamy, where you've got, uh, uh, you know, Doctrine and Covenants at section 132, uh, there is no comparable uh, definitive revelation from, from Joseph Smith or Brigham Young, for that matter, that said, thus saith the Lord, blacks will be denied uh, the priesthood. I think it was an unintended decision, a consequence of where uh, the way in which Mormonism was evolving at that time. I hope that people will get that central message from my book.